am going to be trying out the Kiss French Acrylic Sculpture Kit. You guys, I have never done acrylic before. I usually just stick to glue-on nails or going to the salon. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. Okay, guys. So again, here is the kit that we're using. I'm gonna, I took everything out because it was actually pretty difficult to open, but I'm gonna show you everything that came with it and then everything else that I have. So, what came in the kit was that you have 40 tips, natural and French is what they call them. You have the acrylic powder that's clear. You have the acrylic liquid. The Kiss nail glue. Like a big buffer. We have um, the acrylic brush. Things that I have, I got some different polishes that I'm just gonna be using. I'm gonna try and put some more things on there. So I have a bunch of those. This was my cuticle um, remover. I actually already did my hand. This is gonna be the hand that we're gonna be doing today. I'm not doing this hand. I actually got bent. It's like really swollen, so we're not doing that today. This is my file, so I've already filed my nails down. This is my cuticle pusher. It actually came with one in the kit, but I'm not using that. I just used this one here. And I'll link all this stuff below. A lot of it you can get at the beauty supply or on Amazon. Um, I also have my alcohol prep pads. I have a bunch of these things. I don't know which one I'm gonna have to use to actually pour this liquid in. And then I have some acetone here, or remover. And one of these. So look at the instructions. Cause again, you guys, I have never done this before. So let's take a look. My alcohol prep pad right here. So I'm just going to do this, especially since uh, I just put like gels in my hair and stuff. So. All right, to choose our tips, you guys. All right, so I do have videos on here when I do my glue-ons, uh, which is a full cover tip, but since these are just like these tips, I don't even know, place and sequence applies, okay. So let me figure this out. Oh, we got one, yay. So it's like two different colors, and I'm guessing this part goes over the tip. So that's where I'm measuring. But it honestly doesn't give much instructions on that. That's it. What do you guys think? We're gonna go with yes. So here we go. Okay, apply a small amount of the Kiss nail glue into the well area of the artificial tip and press onto the natural nail. Now, when I use glue with my glue-ons, I am using uh, like the buffer to buff my nail, but let's see this. Okay, so it actually says to use this fine buffer on the nail. So I'm doing this super gently. Let's put these on. So it says to put in the well of the nail, put your na natural nail and hold firmly for five seconds. Well, let's see. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. I'm just using this alcohol pad. You guys, I can't cut this nail. What am I what am I doing? Anyway. This is just like a pre test because I do plan on um really trying acrylic nails, but I think first I'm gonna try the gel X nails because I don't know if I'm ready for non full tip nails. Did I even put these on right? Like, is this right, you guys? There must be some nail people out here that can find this video and help me out because, see, I'm gonna put it, this is where I'm putting it. I'm just kind of like squeezing, I'm letting it come out. 
Yeah, I've never had my nails like actually this long ever. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? This stuff is fun. That's why I do it. I'm not perfect yet, but as long as I'm having fun with it, I think there's a greater chance that I'm gonna like get good at actually doing this. I need to find some nail clippers because I don't think I could do these this long. We are doing a good job on me. Last one. So let me put this away. This is one we will cut. Let me actually see if I have something I could cut these nails with. I'll be right back. So I'm back. Um, I just cut it with scissors. That's awful. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Um, but while I was looking for my clippers, I actually found these polishes too. So I don't know. May use that. Then I got some Q-tips just to clean up stuff. So. Anywho, this is what they're looking like now. Obviously, we're gonna like file them because what? What? This is what we're working with right now. I am dusty. All right, acrylic liquid into a small glass bowl or dappen dish. Okay, I don't, I never heard of that. You learned something new? Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it doesn't smell that bad, but I forgot what I was doing here is like real. Okay, let me, this is the brush. This is the powder. Open this. I really want to use my teeth, but that's probably like not smart at all. Here we go. Voila. Okay, let me fully read these instructions before I start doing any of this. First one, I'm going to put it in a small Now get the brush to put it in a bottle. Oh my god. Into the liquid, wipe on the side, and then dip into the powder. So we can brush it on both sides. Okay. There you see that? I got a little ball. Place acrylic ball mixture on the nail and press ball firmly. La 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 la. That I don't think that works. I think I needed more liquid. I'm so sorry. But this is a true beginner. Like I'm not even trying to not be good at this. I just like, I'm just, I'm just I'll show you again. Hope you guys can see this. Pull it across. I know they call this a bead. This is how much I have. Ooh, okay. That did something. It's this brush or what, but this don't look good. Yeah, I think you need to make sure you have like a good amount of liquid on there when you grab the bead. If you guys do this, you can let me know if that's right. I wouldn't say it's smooth though. Like, I would definitely say it's not smooth. But well, maybe we could just buff it out. Now that looks nice. That looks much better than the first one. Okay, Alexis. For tip number one, uh, make sure you have enough liquid when you're grabbing these balls. 
Beads, balls. Oh my gosh, they're beads. Don't mind me. Guys, this one is the worst. Do you see this big lump? Oh my god. There it is. Just a big lump right here. I'm trying to push it back, but I can't. Also, you guys, I don't paint nails. So, that part of the process is going to be fairly interesting. But that's why I have the rhinestones, so we can just put rhinestones on, whatever. So I guess you could let it get wet. Like, it starts dry, and then it starts getting wet from the moisture on the brush. So that's another little tip, you guys. But don't take too long, I guess, because... Honestly, this just takes practice. That's what it is, because this is not horrible. Especially for, like, I did not watch any tutorial or anything. I'm just reading these directions. And I've seen the people at the nail salon do it. Few. Okay, so this is it. This is what they look like. And it says to let them care for five. Oh my God. It says to, to let them care for five minutes. Oh geez. All right, we'll be back in five minutes. It's been five minutes, so I'm gonna try and file these. Honestly, the directions say I can use um, the file that it came with, and honestly, this one that I have is probably not much better than that one anyway, but it seems to actually be filing, so that's good. It's probably just going to take me a little bit more time. Now this is, let's see if we could get this off. But you see, like the other ones are good except for this one. Oh my God, that is hilarious. This would have been a real cute set if I was not being fast and just took this one off. I think it's pretty much good. And so is my file. All right, these look decent. And then we're going to use this to smooth and finish. This is the final product, you guys. Dusty, but you know. Ooh, actually their black file is good. Okay, you see here, right on here. That is not how that's supposed to look. It looks like I got it on my cuticle, but that's okay. Let me clean up and then we will do Hello. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you after I wash my hands. I mean, you know, some of them don't look that great, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not gonna use these. These are more like Halloween, I guess. This is a top coat. I'm also gonna use it to put on a rhinestone. Try this one. And let's see. This is a really pretty color. Yeah, it doesn't seem like my nails are that smooth. I think I'll do like these two pink as well. 
But yeah, you guys, I just ordered everything on Amazon for the gel nails. Um, like the lamp, I've got a drill and everything. So that is gonna be a ton of fun to try oh. out. Just this one. I don't know what this color stuff is, but I, I'm even trying right now. Polish remover. Just clean this up a bit. <laughs> We're trying. All right, I'm gonna put another layer and then I'm going to do these. atrocious but it's okay This is a disaster. I just want this one. Let's see if we could do any better on this one. I'm gonna use my pinks now. Those are cute. I'm gonna do one at the tip. doing this it's kind of cute yeah I'm gonna put these gems on all my nails my phone had died but here are the nails final verdict I am not giving up um, nail art, whatever I did is a zero, I would give myself, but all in all, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed watching this video, like, subscribe, and comment below, and check out my old videos, doing my nails in the park, or my glue on nails, and hopefully you look forward to my next nail adventures. Peace!